This podcast is part of the Democracy Group. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are talking politics and religion without killing each other. I am your host, Corey Nathan, and I am super grateful to have a place to talk about big ideas, big ideas in our culture. I say culture all the time, and we often just have conversations about politics and religion. But, you know, there's other aspects of our culture that contribute to it. And we're going to do something really different today. Uh, I still get to do it with uh, interesting, accomplished folks uh, from all different kinds of backgrounds, people who come in goodwill, in good faith. Uh, Before we get into our conversation, our special presentation, uh, I want to tell you that it's an honor to share that our program is a part of the Democracy Group, a network of podcasts that examines what's broken in our democracy and how we can work together to fix it. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love it if you told a friend, get the word out. And you know, if you could, whatever app you're on, if you're on Apple or Podcast Addict or Pocket Cast, Give us a rating and leave a review. It really does help us in the rankings and helps people discover our program so they can hear special presentations like what we're doing tonight, as well as all these great conversations with all these interesting people that we've been having. The easiest way to find our main site is politicsandreligion.us. That's www.politicsandreligion.us. Or feel free to connect with me on all the social media apps. Uh, I'm not going to go into that tonight because, like I said, today today's special. So I'm going to do a quick conversation with a really good friend of mine. Kim Yegid has been on this program a couple times before, one time as a guest and another time as a co-host. Uh, and just to refresh your memory for those who uh, haven't been listening forever and ever, uh, Kim is really special. Number one, we grew up together, but also Kim is um, very, very accomplished. Kim Yegid has worked for the U.S. Department of State the United Nations, and is also an award-winning writer, having received the Kennedy Center Meritorious Achievement Award for her theater dance hybrid, America, which explores ethnicity, race, religion, and culture in the United States, as well as many other awards, such as for her renowned work, Hypocrites and Strippers. Today, we are presenting something. Well, you know what? I, I want to say hello to Kim, and then we'll uh, we'll get into it. Hi, Kim. Of course. <laughs> It's nice to see you. It's good to see you. Thank you for having me. So what are we doing today? What is this craziness? <laughs> um, <laughs> um, today, May 11th, is the official end of the federal COVID-19 public health emergency. And I I got to thinking about this a couple of weeks ago when I was in New York. I hadn't been back in literally years, which is like, the longest I've ever been out of New York um, in my life and was catching up with people I haven't seen in way too long. And um, just kind of coincidentally, separately, groups of friends who don't know each other, the conversation turned to what we've all been through and how there's been no formal acknowledgement, no commemoration, no coming together. I guess another way of saying it is, is people seem to want some kind of acknowledgement of this moment or what we've been through. And it struck me at the time when I was having those conversations, obviously, I flew back really late on a Tuesday night and Wednesday, I guess about a week ago, right? I was walking in the morning and I got this idea. Um, I had written, for lack of a better word, a play, because that's what I call what I write, the things that I write. But it it was really kind of a collection of poems called Love and Hate in the Time of COVID. And back in the heat of things, uh, a couple, a, a few friends and I had gotten on Zoom and read it together and kind of had collective moving experiences and talked about, gosh, we should do something with this. And it kind of felt like the moment had passed. So that Wednesday, about a week ago, I was like, this is the moment. And I thought to reach out to you. And that's when I shot you off this text, kind of explaining what I just tried to explain now. And I was like, can can we use your platform? I know it's a little bit off point, but I feel like it's a little on point because 
uh, COVID really hit both religion and politics. Um, and I also think no matter how you experience COVID or what your point of view is on masks or vaccines or whatever else became quite controversial during this collective experience, we've all been part of a collective experience. The World, World Health Organization declared an end May 5th. Now the US government is declaring an end. So even though we're still, COVID's not going away, there's a transition moment and there's an opportunity as for sort of just to, I mean, ideally heal if, you know, as much as we can certainly acknowledge, commemorate. And so I thought maybe we could use your platform and these words and these fabulous actors who have lent us their time to maybe do sm one small attempt at that. Yeah, absolutely. And um, a, a lot, there's a very, very small handful of folks that know that Mikasa Isukasa, <laughs> you know, w with limitations, but I, I, it something resonated about this with me because the need to, uh, we discussed it last time we got together, the, the need to mark time, whether mm -hmm. it's um, significant times in ind individuals lives, an individual that's part of our community that we want to mark it with them, or something that we do together as a community. And we've been through, we've been through a lot as a community. So the idea of marking this time felt appropriate for me, more than appropriate, needed. So do you want to say anything about the piece or the actors, the nature of the piece? Because it is a little bit different. Well, for starters, I want to acknowledge Kevin March, who is a friend of mine. Um, funny enough, you mentioned America. Kevin and I met years ago at University of Michigan because he was working on the music for one of the very original incarnations of America. Um, after that, he wrote an opera called WW, or we we created it together. It eventually beca became called WW.love. He asked me to write the libretto lyric portion of it. And subsequent to that, we wrote another piece together called Leading Lady. And during the pan the heat of the pandemic, the height of the pandemic, he reached out to me and said, what do you think about um, writing like something along the lines of love in the time of cholera? And I was like, well, that's a beast. But I did. It did resonate love in the time of COVID. And then maybe more reflecting on, you know, my POV and my life. I, one, he just sparked me. So I want to say thank you to Kevin. So love in the time of COVID grew into love and hate in the time of COVID. And um, Axel Roca, who's a very talented actor, and um, Danelle Smith and Kenya Moses, also two fabulous performers. And then also, um, I think we're having a little cameo by Zyla Huck on, on one of the pieces. They just kind of lent us their talents. And I think what you're talking about in terms of the different nature of the piece is there's an improv aspect to it. So uh, with the exception of the one piece that Zyla does, the way the way the script is written is that there are separate pieces, but nobody's given lines. And so there's a way that people organically build off of each other. And sometimes you might hear a little overlay where people are just sort of moved to layer text, um, either existing text or throw in something else to add to the flavor. And I feel like, one, I have to give a nod to Reggie Gaines, who is a mentor and an inspiration. Um, um, I sort of borrowed from him because during some of my dark periods where I was like very not creative, he hit me up and was like, come be in this poetry group that ultimately did a performance. And that's what we did. And he encouraged us to borrow this technique. And so I did. And, and so um, Reggie inspired this kind of technique um, and, and I use it in the piece. And, and I also just want to acknowledge, I, I won't name names because there were so many people, but there were multiple readings on Zoom while I workshopped this and played with this. And I want to say thank you to all of those folks as well um, who helped kind of make this into where we are today. Well, I really appreciate your work. I really appreciate you putting it together. And I appreciate you allowing us to share it on this platform 
So, yeah. So without further ado, love and hate in the time of COVID. Love and hate in the time of COVID. Once upon a time. Is money. Isn't everything. Happens for a reason. It out. Of my mind. Your own business. Is the downfall of us all. Hold hands. Up don't shoot. From the hip. Hop you don't stop. Look and listen. To me. Too. Much time. We'll tell if we can go back. To normal. Doesn't exist anymore. COVID 19th Street. New York. Feels dead because it is the place of the dead and dying, demystifying race and race segregationist hate. Doesn't skip any place. I can't breathe. You can't erase. Forget your home. It's a money street, capitalist rampage, less exceptional than exceptionalism. You too have to look yourself in the face. Progressivist shame. Trying to escape your share of the blame. Nobody's nobody's. Nobody's talking about the tears. Locked up fears, newborn patience with elevator music. Hold lines for people who didn't know. Bones have ears. It's been years since I held your hand. Look me in the eyes. So I can slow dance. With your lies. Solitary confinement. One light. One mic. One voice. Double Dutch, my noise. I know, I know. Plagiarize. My fear, I dare you. To come stand here, one light, one mic, one voice. Makes me hoarse. Sharing my life force. Hot peas and butter. I am your mother. One light, one mic. One voice. No one can mess with me. Come Come and and confess confess to me. Don't lose focus. Control your urge. I see your rage and I am not afraid. This virus is man-made. One light, one mic, one One voice. One voice. I feel peace. I feel might. Flight over fight over flight. Failure, come at me. French kiss, your power away. Write myself a window, reframe your shame. Pay attention. If you can. I am every man. One light. One mic. One voice. One voice. 60 years. My love for you was not a vow. My love for you is infinity. You, my dear, should have been more discriminating. Here you are, tied to machines. I see the pain in your eyes. And here I am, I can't do a thing. I can't hold your hand, say it's all right. I want to release your soul, direct it to the light. But I selfishly cling to what I can't touch. You part this way, it's just too much, so I'll send you love. Through mask and glass, through walls and ceilings that I can't pass. Pray and hope and beg and plead by By some some miracle. miracle. You won't leave. 60 years has gone. Much Much too fast. fast. I just want us to last. And last. And last. My love for you was not a vow. My love for you is infinity. Dear Brutus, I don't want to come out to play. Dear Brutus, it doesn't feel like a brand new day. The sun goes up and down, it's true. But the blue in the sky is a superficial hue. Dear Brutus, I don't want to come out to play. Dear Brutus, you look but you don't see. Dear Brutus, you aren't so happy. The wind won't blow, birds won't sing. You can't ignore, you're part of everything. Dear Brutus, I'm tired of all your lies. I look around and around, come see what I've found. 
It's a world turned upside down. Look around, dear Brutus. Don't ask me to smile, dear Brutus. I'm not a little child. The world is full of so much pain. There's no turning back if we don't change, dear Brutus. You're playing a losing game. Dear Brutus, I want to come out to play. Dear Brutus, I want to create a brand new day. Feel a sunny sky filled with blue. I want to feel a cheer. How about you, dear Brutus? Domestic violence affects more women than breast cancer. Lung cancer and ovarian cancer combined occurring more than 145 times each hour in the United States. Mama, when are you coming home? There's someone here caring for me, but I feel all alone. A stranger in my home. Mama, are you in exile? Or is it me? The sacrifice isn't worth the price. It's like you're choosing strangers over me. It's like you're choosing strangers over me. Mama, when are you coming home? Mama, where are you? They say it's for my safety, but it feels like you want to erase me. Mama, Mama. when are you coming home? Como se dice? How are you? Como se dice, I miss you? Como se dice, love at first sight. Como se dice. I wish I could fly away. Take my wing. I'll be your prayer. Close your eyes. Dance with me. Together we can be anywhere. Butterflies fill my belly, sweat stains my sheets, close my eyes. And I'll kiss you, if only in my dreams. Como se dice, my heart's beating so fast. Como se dice, I hope this lasts. Como se dice, girl of my dreams. Como se dice... I know this seems childish and crazy. Clearly, I'm insane. I've only known you a minute. But there's a lifetime to gain. If I close my eyes and imagine... In your arms, I'm not locked in. In your eyes, I imagine... Freedom's everywhere. Here's where I begin. My little joystick. My little friend, you're better to me than any man. You can't hold me. In the night, but you make everything feel all right. My little joystick. My little friend. We'll be together until the end. The conversation tends to lag. But you never make me mad. My little joystick, my little friend, you're so reliable and true. You're never not in the mood. If I wake you in the night. We never argue and fight. My little joystick, my little friend. You always give me what I want. There's no complaining when I say I need you multiple times a day. My little joystick, my wand of magic. My little joystick. My special friend. Ode to the barber. My side parts not so parted. My flat top not so flat. My fade is fading. Should I do a buzz cut or not? My dreads are just dreadful. My lines not so fine. My curl's not so curly. My twists are a mess, a miss. Cornrows could be the answer. Has it really come to this? This is my ode to you, my barber. Without you, my life is getting harder. Someone please make this end. So I can get a haircut. Again. COVID-19. My breath away. You make my heart skip a beat in the wrong way. She did everything right for the wrong reason. It's impossible to create any meaning. 
Wake each day, stare at the wall. That about covers? It all. When I was young, dear daughter, not much younger than you, I heard the song about the cats in the cradle. But never gave it much ado. And then I grew older. Much too old for regrets. I thought, what can I do? I gave it my best. Too weak to look you in the eyes. Too weak to apologize. But you gave it no mind. You let wounds pass the time. I looked at you, my daughter. I felt I had won. Then you took me in your arms and you told me about my grandson. Too weak to look you in the eyes. Too weak to apologize. But you gave it no mind. You let wounds pass with time. Now I've grown older. I'm a grandpa of three. I'm just like the other guys. It fills me with glee. But now I look in your eyes. I feel an unwelcome surprise. You tell me, Daddy, is it okay? We can't take much more of this. We have to move away. My heart smashes to the ground. My world spins all around. Am I too weak to look you in the eyes? Too weak to let you say goodbye? Daddy, it's okay. I promise we'll be back again someday. It's such a painful deja vu. You taking care of me instead of me taking care of you. So I hold you in an imaginary embrace. Tell myself it won't be long until you come back home because together is where we belong. When I was young, dear daughter. Not much younger than you. I heard the song about the cats in the cradle. I never gave it much ado. Never lived my life so full of fright. Can't get through a day without a fight. What am I holding on to? Wake each day full of fret. Hit the bed with more regret. What am I... What am I... Holding on to? Life is so much confusion. I look at you. What am I afraid of losing? What am I... What am I... Holding on to? Dear friend, I always thought I'd see you again. I remember our walks and wish we could talk. I'm not sure what's been stopping me from calling you. Sweet friend, I got your letter today and made my heart stop. It took my breath away. It's been too long. Never mind the phone. Get on a plane. <laughs> Dear friend, wouldn't that be a dream to be in the same place, to be in the same space? It would mean everything. I hope this craziness ends soon so we can be together in the same room. Sweet friend, don't buy into this. Silly little hoax. The liberals and big business, they have us on the ropes. It's time to fight back. Dear friend, I don't know what to say. Now you've taken my breath away. I don't think science is a hoax. I think we should all be staying home. Sweet friend, I'm not going to waste my life hiding behind masks and being afraid. It's just a little flu. If you believe they're con, then they've won. Dear friend, the hospitals are packed. Morgues are overflowing. It's nice to believe in yourself, your inherent sense of knowing. But facts are facts, and the numbers are growing and growing. Sweet friend, I'm off to Mexico for a few weeks. Excuse the silence if you please. Let me know when you're ready for a rendezvous. It would be great to see you. Dear friend, I always thought I'd see you again. Women. Held. All 140,000. Jobs. Lost. Last. Month. Men. Gained. 16,000. Jobs in the same month. Is there anything you wouldn't share with me? Breathe for me. The little window I make you crawl through. To be with me. Is there anything you regret? That feels the same. 
Anything you'd take back, even if you do it again? If there's anything I could take, I'd return it to you. Gentle and smiling. And delicate and used. A flirtatious kiss on open lips. A broken promise is all I can give. I'll take my exit. You take your bow. We will both survive, even if we don't know how. Enduring love, brittle remains, endings end. Even when we're afraid of giving them names. Is there anything you wouldn't do? It tears me up inside, but I can't do the same for you. Ending endings, brittle remains. Enduring love will never be the same. My little angel, my dream come true, my little sweetheart. How I miss you. Mommy wasn't meant to be so far away. Her eyes can't see the warm sunshine on your face. Your little sparkle, your tender grace. My little angel, my dream come true. My little sweetheart, how I miss you. I want to take you in my arms. I want to protect you from all harm. I want to watch you when you sleep. I want to listen to you breathe. I want to make it all all right. Erase what scares you in the night, my little angel. My dream come true, my little sweetheart, how I miss you. Take your arms and wrap them tight. Hold your teddy with all your might. Feel my presence from up above. Feel my warmth. Feel my love. My little angel. My dream come true. My little sweetheart, how I miss you. Settlement. Thirteen rhythms. Thirteen rhymes. Think I'm too stupid? To tell the time. It's like... Forty acres and a mule. Think you're just gonna play me for a fool? Thirteen miles won't rein me in. Thirteen miles is where I begin. Thirteen rhythms, thirteen rhymes. Think it's time to tell you what's on my mind. Forget your shackles. Forget, Forget your, your chains. chains. You're not strong enough to lock up my brain. Hold up a mirror. Reflect back your blame. Gonna dance my knowing across your shame. All I need is my 13 rhythms. My 13 rhymes. Don't need your permission. To know what's mine. Sexting. You're so darling. You're so cute. At 63, it's such a hoot. To download an app and find... A man from the looks of this, I'm in good hands. I'm doing makeup, setting lights. I have to get it all just right. Silky satin, nice to touch. The perfect ambiance is a must. I'm getting stage fright. Not sure what to do. Can I really bear it all for you? The phone is set. The camera's on. Here goes nothing. A star is born. The greatest romance. I look in the mirror and what do I see? Never spent so much time getting to know me. A little grayer, a little pouch. A beard down to here. A sophisticated slouch. I look and what do I see? Never hope to spend so much time getting to know me. Great conversation, a charming wit. Vocal cords. I just won't quit. A handsome devil is what I see. It's the greatest love story of the century. I look and what do I see? A caring glance. This is true romance. Falling in love with me. To Reg. No mouth to mouth. No paddle to chest. Your inspiration is the reason. Double dutch my heart. Back to beating, there are no words of thanks. No gratitude great enough. To express my meaning. You are the reason I'm still breathing. C-19. I don't think normal was normal in the first place. Still, I'm participating in this historical clusterfuck. 
watching these funny creatures wrestle with themselves, imagination. Congratulations. We're getting personal. Don't feel better. Face your failure. Start with the feeling and work outward. We are all so traumatized. But not equally traumatized. American. Women lost. More. Than. Five. Million. Jobs. In 2020. How many times do you expect me to stand here while you call me cracker to my face lecturing to an unseen audience while you explain how mine is an inferior face i don't dare to name my burden don't ask for solace for my pains but we, we can't, can't be friends just so you have a target for your outrage may i talk to you a minute sir it all happened in a blur my purpose isn't to protect you. My purpose is to infect you with all the blame, the shame. Make you feel like you're going insane. My truth, your lies. I'm gonna say what I say. As long as it flies. Throw whatever I can against the wall. To see if it sticks, to see if you fall. We all feel stepped on. We all feel unheard. The divisiveness is getting absurd. You don't know your own enemy. You don't know what's keeping you down. Vote based on fear. Not hope. The polite police is going to have us dead, buried, and gone. I'm working from a different paradigm. You don't even get my rhyme. When you always know you're right, you never know righteousness. Kind of like a new pair of shoes. You have to lace them up. Quixotic windows. Peaceful. Pain. pain. I saw. A reflection. I saw a lane. Inside feelings. Inside walls. Inside something less than. More. more. Raise. A finger. Raise. A fall. Winter widows. Above it all. Six. M. W. E. Jew. I fucking hate you. It's bad enough. To hear it said. You've got it repeating in my head. Cringe every time I hear Palestine. As if you know what's on my mind. Why do you think I need you to teach me? My own history to me is a mystery. It's not your job to stand in my shoes. But it's not my job to educate you. I don't know what you see when you look at me. But here's a taste of my reality. I walk down the street. Female first and queer with kinky hair and olive skin. I'm not so much a part of your original sin. Meanwhile, I'm the only alarmist who keeps getting it right. White flight. Bigots in the night. Crystal knocked remembrance won't help your plight. Sickness of the soul. On demand. Racism. And anti-Semitism work hand in hand. When someone tells you who they are. Believe them. Especially. When it comes to treason. Insurrection. Every 33 seconds. The death bell tolls. But we live our lives like nobody knows. We hum a rhythm, preach a love supreme. United States of America. What does it mean, fake government? Ignoring sedition, gonna beat the truth. Into submission, worship false gods idolatry and weaponry more sacred than reality dip your head in the sand it's okay we'll all hold hands say, say a, a prayer. prayer pretend it away but the clock keeps on ticking it's about time for your licking improv explanations tap dance rationalization 
This is what happens when you propagate lies. Ignore history, your inevitable end is no mystery. Who is your phoenix? Whose turn is it to rise? Face your devil, young pilgrim. Or face your demise. I noticed. I'm frustrated. I wish you would. I was hoping that. I didn't know. I was doing what I did. I see you. I heard you today. You were not alone. Woke. I'm used to you being stronger than me. An, an appetite, appetite for life. life that transcends meaning. I used to use sarcasm and rage, a lightning fast double jab to distract from the rampage. But if we could focus the lens and narrow our sights, we'd finally home in on the path to what's right. It's not weapons or wishes or the overthrow of nations that now hate us. It's truth and ideals, a level playing field. We can't make things right. If you won't surrender the fight. I'm not asking what's your strength. I like to lie down with my weakness. Abandon, abandon your faith. faith. Place, Place power, power in people, not an imaginary state. Sleep, child. Hymns of loftiness. Sleep, child. Prayers of love. Sleep, child. There's no hope for us. Sleep, child. If we can't wake, wake up. up.